Hey there, fellow photographers. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am excited to share my secrets for capturing those stunning veil shots that everyone loves. Capturing those beautiful veil shots can be a wedding photography game changer. They add a touch of elegance and romance to your wedding photography galleries, but pulling off these shots takes a little bit of finesse and the right approach. So first things first, the essentials for capturing beautiful veil shot are a bride with a long veil, an assistant or a second shooter is nice to have. And I like to have my 50 millimeter lens or my 85 millimeter lens. Also, ideally having a little bit of wind always helps with capturing beautiful veil shots. But let's face it, you can't always count on mother nature to step up and provide wind. So sometimes you need to just add a little help and you can do veil shots without wind as well. When I first try to get these veil shots, what I start with is I grab my camera with my 50 millimeter lens for a head and shoulders portrait to start with. I find that the 50 millimeter works well because it allows me to get pretty close to the couple. And also the 50 millimeter is a flattering focal length on people. So since I can get in nice and close, I can actually adjust the veil myself and I can help direct the couple a little bit easier. Once I get in there and I position the veil how I want it, I will encourage the couple to interact, cuddle. One could tell a little secret to the other just to make the photos look a little bit more natural and less posed. Getting them to interact helps get some more genuine expressions that will look great in your final images. So let's break down how exactly I achieved this shot. So in this photo, I used my Nikon Z6 II and my 50 millimeter lens. The settings for this were 50 millimeter f2.5, one over 160 for the shutter speed and ISO of 500. So I was photographing this wedding on my own. I didn't have a second photographer or an assistant to help me. The bride was wearing a long veil. So I got close to the bride and groom and I got underneath the veil so that I could get a photo showing their faces with the veil surrounding them. There was a very helpful and lovely bridesmaid there who was willing to help out. So I asked the bridesmaid to just hold the veil in a certain direction so that it would create the composition that I wanted. So using my 50 millimeter at f2.5 allowed me to get this dreamy romantic look that I was going for. Also, I find using the veil in photos helps give the photos that bright and airy look that a lot of people like just because the veil is white, so it can add a lot of white to the frame. In this next shot, I used my 85 millimeter lens. And in this photo, I did a full body portrait of the couple. There was no wind happening in this situation. So I asked my assistant to lift up the veil and then I counted down to three and asked her to let go of the veil after the count of three and run out of the shot. As she ran away, I just make sure to take a ton of photos so that I would have more than enough to choose from and I would pick the best one to put in the final gallery. My last example shows another head and shoulder portrait. In this example, the sun was shining really brightly coming in from behind the couple. I positioned the couple purposely so their backs were towards the sun so that this photo would have this beautiful backlighting and the backlighting was coming through the veil and just making it look really dreamy and pretty. Once again, I used my trusty 50 millimeter lens so that I could get pretty close to the couple. I asked the couple to stand chest to chest like this. And I asked the bride to lean towards me a little bit and smile while the groom was looking at the bride. At this wedding, I was lucky I had a second photographer with me and the bride was wearing a longer veil. So I asked the second photographer to come stand to my left and hold the veil right next to my lens. Once again, I shot this photo pretty wide open probably f2.5 again is what I usually use f2 to f2.5 and using that is critical because using that shallow depth of field ensures that the veil is out of focus in the foreground. Also having the veil really close to the lens ensures that the veil will blur out when it gets close to the lens in the foreground of the image. So the tips that I use are use the 50 millimeter for the head and shoulders veil shot. I like the the 50 or the 85 for the full body shot. 
Also, bring the veil very close to your camera to blur it out in the foreground and ask your couple to pose and interact with each other to ensure that the images have genuine emotion in them. Now that you are familiar with my tricks, please go ahead and use them at your next wedding. Since I've started using these tricks myself, a lot of clients will actually ask me specifically for photos like this. Remember to have fun and experiment with your camera and settings to capture beautiful memories. I'm wishing you all the best in creating your own magical veil shots. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you next time. Bye.